Uh, Vumani, thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on being one of the 67 CEOs Mega Pitch Fest uh, winner. First of all, how are you doing today considering the season that we are, the COVID-19 uh, global pandemic? How are you doing? Well, uh, health-wise, I'm fine. Uh, my family is also fine. Um, and in terms of the business, uh, it has taken quite a strain, uh, especially since uh, March when the lockdown started. Yes. Um, yeah, because our clients, they closed their companies and were unable to work. Uh, and now they are gradually opening some of them. Uh, I was just uh, doing conversations uh, last week. I'm still waiting for feedback. But yeah, um, uh, in terms of business, we are not doing too well uh, because of the, of the coronavirus. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it has been a very challenging season for, uh, for everyone personally and business-wise. Um, yeah, so tell me, um, I would like to know about your business uh, uh, journey or background. Um, how did you get into entrepreneurship? Have you always been an entrepreneur? Is it in a family or... Um, um, but, uh, yeah, tell me about your academic and, and, and business journey. Well, um, <clears throat> I was working um, uh, for an industrial company as a, um, as a shack officer, a safety, health, environment, and quality officer. Um, um, so the company that I worked for, uh, the position for 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 Shek became uh, redundant. It was closed, so they they only had um, a health and safety only. So uh, the quality they cut off the quality side of it. So the salary dropped uh, because it was it was now less responsibilities. So it was a new post. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. So, so basically what, what happened, um, I decided uh, to start my own, my own business on the side for extra income. Uh, basically what I was doing, I was assisting other um, entrepreneurs uh, to get their... Um, they are to get to maybe to have a quality management system in their businesses uh, and also with, with some health and safety stuff, um, you know, getting a safety file and stuff like that. And then um, I started um, also getting some business um, uh, with, with other companies and stuff like that. And that consumed too much of my time. Then I ended up resigning where I was working. This was back in 2014. So in 2015, I registered the company. And then I started, you know, tendering and stuff like that, getting all the compliance documents in order and all that. I had a lot of background in, uh, in um, um, compliance. Uh, you know, uh, health and safety compliance, environmental and quality uh, management systems. I did the uh, uh, ISO 9001 at that time. I think now it's upgraded. Uh, and 18,001 health and safety uh, management system. Uh, I did all that. I did same track. Um, also, uh, uh, a health and safety and quality management system program. Yeah, so uh, since 2015, I've been, but basically what our company does, um, we, do, we do maintenance, uh, cleaning, uh, general maintenance, uh, because I, I had a lot of um, friends that were uh, builders, 
painters, uh, some guys who do tiling and, you know, uh, just general stuff. So I decided now to, to, to get business for them. Uh, but under my company, as I was registered and had all the compliance documents. And stuff. So currently I'm, I'm working with these guys. Uh, we're living job. I have a guy, a couple of guys who are good in paving. Yeah. I get a painting job. A couple of guys who are good at painting. And uh, I hire some old ladies as well for cleaning. We had a, a, a contract uh, two years ago. I expired last year for office cleaning. So I had uh, some old ladies um, who usually would be like domestic workers. But now they work for me to do this office cleaning and stuff like that. And um, yeah, and uh, some uh, gardeners as well. Some guys who, who like to do gardening and stuff. And so I get maybe a contract for landscaping and stuff and, and, I, I, and I get them. Okay. Um, so I just have a passion for for for, for employing uh, these unemployed people uh, who, who otherwise wouldn't get a job easily in, in corporate or who are, who are not really um, skilled and liberal. Uh, yeah, most of them. Uh, some of them are semi-skilled, but um, you know, uh, most of them are, are unskilled. Just my, me, me and my wife, uh, uh, we, we, but my wife is working, but part-time she's doing the, the back office for us. Uh, you know, uh, she, she, she's, she's doing HR as well for us and stuff like that. I see. She's a, she's a business management graduate. I see, I see. So, um, so all of that uh, uh, happened uh, 2015, 2016, 17, and 18. Mm -hmm. um, how was your business in 2019? 2019, it was okay. Um, our contract with the office cleaning we, uh, came to an end in June, but we got another contract. Uh, uh, um, it wasn't, it wasn't actually a contract. It was a revolving month-to-month, -month, on a month-to-month -month basis. Sure. For just, for just maintenance. Um, yeah. yeah. But in December, um, we did our last job with them in January. Uh, they just called us for one thing uh, in January. And in February, we didn't work. And then in March, uh, the lockdown started. And, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's a combination of um, an inspiring story on how you um, transitioned from being, from being an employee to um, a business owner, uh, meaning an oh, employer, yeah. and then, um, you know, 2015 to 2019, which is um, four years thereabout. Um, business was good and, um, you know, 2020 came, January, February, and March, you know, um, South Africa went into um, hard lockdown. So what was the impact of that in your, on, on your business and revenue generating um, um, activities? Wow, you see, I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was something that will pass. I, I didn't even see it coming, actually. Uh, no. I think nobody did. Um, so I was uh, relaxed. I think I started doing a lot of prospecting for new business when the lockdown had started. Yes. So I started now, um, you know, calling uh, maybe my old clients see if they needed our services and maybe calling new clients, uh, maybe that I pick up from the internet or yellow pages and just prospecting, calling them. But all of them were in lockdown. All of them were saying, no, call us after lockdown and stuff like that. And, and it's been really hectic. It's been really bad. Um, 
the one the one company that uh, that um, has given us some some jobs during lockdown not not so much jobs is a property management company so they are managing a lot of buildings and stuff yes. so they'll call me to go and look at a broken tap or a burst pipe or something like that you no know, just once off and you know, yeah. it's not a, a sustainable thing yeah. minor so, uh, minor repairs yes 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 mm. so that's what we've been doing um nothing i i think since march or maybe since february yes till now uh, i haven't been making more than five thousand a month mm. maybe less than yeah so yeah. that's how bad it is yeah I'm about to um uh run out of every cent that i have or have ever saved up and stuff yeah. so. i can i can only imagine i can only imagine um yeah a lot of research you know um that uh, was that that were conducted between march and uh, end of may thereabouts if i'm correct one of them being the uh, 22 oslo um mm -hmm. Uh, research and and report shows that you know most of the small businesses um, generated zero revenue within that uh, two to three months, which is very mm -hmm. you know, for the um, small business ecosystem. Um, yeah. So um, you saw uh, you saw the sixty seven CEOs mega pitch fest. How, how did you see, I, I, I should ask, how, how did you um, see, be informed about the 67 CEOs Mega Pitch Fest? Uh, on Twitter, I don't know, I think it was last year or so, uh, 67 CEOs was in partnership with um, Exaro. True. Exaro, uh, they had a, a, a social event, I think, um, a meeting with other business leaders uh, into small businesses meeting with big business that kind of thing so i saw that on twitter very interested to attend it uh just coincided with uh, other commitments that i had at the time i was i was working uh contract yes. so uh, i wanted to attend so i actually uh rsvp that i'll attend the, the 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 thing but i was i was i was unfortunately uh i missed it but i was following it on twitter i see i was following it on twitter all the conversations and everything and i even posted a few comments and everything so i'm following 67 ceos on twitter so that's how i i i i i, I found out about the, the mega pitch right and um so you saw it and uh you decided to pitch and and tell me how many videos did you record before you posted the last <laughs> uh, i don't know but a few eh? <laughs> because others i was running past 59 seconds <laughs> so uh and the other ones uh, i was stuttering somewhere and yeah. uh, yeah, I think quite a few. <laughs> yeah, pitching but not, eventually, pitching is not easy. Even if you, not, know, if you, even if you um, are clued up technically about your business and you know it in and out, articulating it um, publicly, you know, even if it was, even if mm. it wasn't in front of um, a video camera. Um, mm. Articulating your, mm. your your business model publicly, it's always an intense um, exercise. Mm. Yeah. And especially with the one minute uh, time frame. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and and you know, there's a lot of factors um, that uh, mm. to so we um, asking for a 60 seconds um, maximum video. You know, but um, anyway, so you submitted the uh, pitch. 
and uh, you were waiting for the announcement, hoping to be one of the winners, which you are right now. Um, yes. How was it waiting for you? Were you excited? <laughs> were you nervous? Were you, what, what, you know, uh, uh, tell me what was the experience like between when you, uh, between the time you submitted the pitch and when the announcement uh, was made? Oh, it's quite interesting. <laughs> well, more than, more than the, um, well, I, I, need, I needed the fans, uh, but uh, mostly, um, I, I would say, I was very excited about this digital marketing, this, this uh, web page, uh, because I always wanted uh, to have this online presence. Um, uh, a, a web page. I have a friend, he said he'll do it for me for 1,500. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I wanted to do it for some time. And um, also, it just means a lot for me to, to win something. <laughs> I see. Uh, yeah, I, so, so quite uh, a, yeah. Carry on, please. Yeah, I'm just saying I was quite anxious. <laughs> that's, that's okay. So um, you were announced one of the winners on, on Mandela Day, this 18th of July, 2020. And um, when the announcement was made and you, now, uh, and, and you became one of the winners, um, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? How did, did you celebrate, uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Uh... So I found my, uh, I have a mentor, uh, this uh, old guy, Mr. Davis. So I sent him an email, I screen grabbed the thing, <laughs> and, I, and I posted, I sent him. <laughs> and yeah, he said, no, I must tell my wife to cook me some, some nice dinner <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> and we should celebrate. So, yeah. I, hope, I hope you guys didn't kill it. Yeah, oh. my, we, I hope you didn't kill a cow. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't go out because of the lockdown. <laughs> I, I, I asked. So I, we were indoors and she cooked nice food and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. That's, that's great. Um, so what has been the impact of the 5,000 rent cash price that you received? What has been the impact of, of that um, grant? Well, um, <clears throat> I ran out of cartridge for my printer. Uh, so I bought that and I ran out of paper. Cartridge. Uh, most of it, I've used it for airtime data, uh, traveling as well for, for petrol because uh, I, I sometimes I have to go to see the client and you know go to sites to do quotations and stuff like that. I see. So I've done that as well. Yeah, but I'm still left with uh, some money from that five thousand. Okay. So yeah, I haven't used all of it yet. Okay. <laughs> no, that's. Yeah, that's... Uh, but uh, but yeah. I'm, uh, that's interesting. You can call it. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting to know that uh, with the uh, 5,000 rand, you are able to keep afloat in your business and also, um, you know, uh, buy some of the uh, uh, tools or items required for you to be able to either submit uh, RFQs or RFPs and the rest. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. No, definitely. Okay, no, that's good. Mm. So mm. here we are now. You are going to benefit also from the digital digital marketing service. Service. You're going to benefit from the digital marketing service, which is the website development. Um, what are you looking forward to, and how is the website going to contribute to the sustainability of your business? Well, <clears throat> most of the times I'm I'm calling potential clients, you see. So I think if I have a, a website, I might be getting calls <laughs> from potential clients. 
because you know, some sometimes they'll search maybe for a cleaning company. Yeah. Maybe I'll come up, you know, maybe they'll call me, uh, maybe to come and do a quotation for them or something. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think that will that it will contribute too much to my business very much because uh, it won't be just me calling potential clients, but I might be getting calls myself uh, from potential clients. So yeah, uh, that, that that's that's potentially true because um, you having an online presence will give you the opportunity to um, be contacted, like you said. And also to uh, to be able to reach markets beyond your immediate um, environment, you know, um, I, I would imagine that you've been uh, able to serve the market within the Gauteng region. But having a mm -hmm. website, it will give you a reach, you know, a national and you know, it, it's a global reach. But you know, um, to 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 cap it to give you a national and re uh, uh, extensive regional reach. Definitely, and, yes. And, and like you also said earlier that you, um, your business requires, because you don't have a, an online reach, uh, or pre online presence rather, you are the one that always reach out to customers. But in this case, when you have a website, you know, people can just uh, pick up the call and, and um, reach out to you, which is, yeah. and that will also allow you to um, save cost, you know, in, in your business, you know, if you have been making uh, uh, calls worth 500 rand, you know, monthly or weekly, whichever way, now you can, um, you know, drop the cost by 50 to 25 percent, I would, I would believe. Definitely. So, um, for the website, uh, we are going to need your logo, your official logo. I, you have a logo, I believe. Uh, I do, but it's not a nice logo. I wanted, I was hoping maybe this prize would include a logo design as well. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't include logo design. And the reason for that is because um, the concentration is going to be on the website development. And um, in order to have a website developed, professional websites developed, you, um, the client, which in, in, in quote and unquote you are in this case, needs to provide the logo, the company profile, and, and also the hosting panel. Or, and the domain, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So your business is uh, LV uh, Trading, trading Enterprise. You know. So the domain name, the domain name could be lvtrading.co.za or LV um, uh, Consultancy, you know, LV um, whatever you want to put as a suffix. And yes. um, so we will make recommendations on how to get a proper domain name for your business. And um, we will then make recommendations also on uh, service providers for the domain name and the hosting panel. And you'll be able to have professional emails also. I would imagine you're currently using... Um, yeah. uh, uh, you're currently using Gmail, you know. Which, yeah, yeah. you know, yes, it's okay when starting out, but in order to be taken seriously, you have to have your own domain name under your company name. That's when people take um, you seriously. So those are all the recommendations that we are going to make. I'll send you an email on those ones. Um, the logo that you currently have, send it through, and let's see if it's going to work. If it's not going to work, we um, potentially see how we can assist you on that. Um, I'm not promising anything in that regard. Um, also, I didn't ask, um, you have your company profile, I believe. Yes, I do. So we're going to need a copy of that. You send it through in a Microsoft Word. Then we can, um, if you have- As you send it in a Microsoft Word. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. And uh, do, you have, do you have images? You have photographs of some of the work that you 
did in the past? Yes, yes, I have, uh, have some images. Yeah, you will send that through also. So we're going to use all of that on your website. Those are the requirements for us to be able to develop a website for your business. And that brings us to the end of the meeting. I would like to ask if you have any questions for me. It says just three things you need. is a, is a logo, business profile, and some images. Uh, including an hosting panel. You, we need domain name. We need okay, an domain. yes. We need an active domain name and hosting panel. We'll make recommendations on some of. Have you heard of the company uh, company name AfriHost? Is that uh, the the web the web design uh, web, hosting, web hosting service provider? Web hosting service. Yes. Provider. Yes. So, so, what is it called? Afri. AfriHost. AfriHost. Okay. Yes. Um, I've heard of them, yeah. Yeah, we make we'll make a few um, recommendations. You look at their pricing and the one that you can afford, then you subscribe to the service. Um, once you activate the service, then you will send us the login details, and with the login details, we are able to uh, build a website for you and we go live. And the turnaround time after you would have provided all the requirements, the turnaround time is 10 to 15 working days. Okay, okay. Do you have any other questions? No, just... nah, no, no, no. I'm not sure. So this is not too complicated uh, to, to... I just go to AfriHost and I will, the stuff. I will, I will send you an email. I will send you an email and, and uh, put you through accordingly. Oh, with the link? Yes. To, to them, okay. I'll make recommendations. Well, that's fine. Decide on which package you want to go for. Okay, that's fine. All right. And then I just send you those those login login credentials. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. No, Thank you very funny. much, uh, Vumani, for joining me once again. Congratulations for for being one of the winners of the sixty seven CEOs Mega Pitch Fest, and yes. uh, I wish you well in your business. And I hope that um, as you have persevered until this time you will continue to soldier on you know entrepreneurship is not mm. easy but it's uh, not easy it's, yes, it's, yes. It's, it's, it's always rewarding at the end um definitely um uh hopefully with the now with the internet i've always been wanting to to go this route of the uh, internet but uh, <laughs> um, I haven't. I, I, I have. I've, I've just been old school. Yeah. So, no. um, yeah. We look at the. <laughs> this is this is paid monthly or annually. This this you domain. Can pay or you can pay annually. You can pay monthly okay. or annually. You know, um, the recommendation would be that you uh, you would I will make recommendations of the uh, uh, the services that are uh, affordable and. I recommend that you know you should pay uh, uh, once every year because okay. uh, that gives you a breather. You know that gives you a breather. You know that um, once mm -hmm. every year is when you um, renew your domain and uh, and the hosting package. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that uh, when you mentioned that you wanted to go this route and you know you've been old school. Um, the, the coronavirus and the impact on, on individuals and businesses specifically, mm. you know, has accelerated um, the need to go digital. And for small businesses and even large businesses, I, would, I, I, I can't imagine any large business that is not on, on, on online, that is not online. But uh, for small businesses, you know, if, if you're not online, um, mm can be found and if you are not found uh, businesses are going to your competitors that have online presence and yes. uh, you know you you can't say that uh, there's one tokoloshi or there's one uh, devil yeah, yes. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is affecting you so it is your ignorance that is killing you <laughs> yes, yes yes no definitely definitely <laughs> definitely thank you very much uh, 
<laughs> I will definitely take that up, uh, and, and it's been long coming. <laughs> absolutely, so it's you know, done it long time ago. It's I it's 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 absolutely the right time. So um, take care of money.